Tomorrow marks 13 years since anyone last saw Lorenzen Wright alive. The disappearance and death of the Misfits basketball star stunned the world. And tonight only on News Channel 3 for the first time, the man doing life for Lorenzen's death is talking. And he's only talking to News Channel 3. WRG investigators April Thompson and Zanetta Lowe, who've been covering the case for more than a decade, spoke with Billy Ray Turner behind bars. Billy Ray Turner reached out to us and says he wants to share his story and nothing is off limits. That's right. We talked about everything from his role in the killing of Lorenz and Wright to his relationship with Wright's ex Shara. Tonight, Turner explains why after all these years, he wants you to hear directly from him. Billy Ray Turner is infamously known as the man who murdered a Memphis basketball legend. The world has heard a lot about Turner, but very little from him. My name is Billy Turner. I'm calling from Turning Center penitentiary out of only Tennessee. Only Tennessee, about two and a half hours northeast of Memphis between Jackson and Nashville, and home to the Turney Center Industrial Complex, where Turner is serving a life sentence for killing Lorenzen Wright. How long have you been uh, at Turney? About six months now. And where were you before that? Uh, 201 Poplar. For several months, the WREG investigators have been communicating with Turner behind bars. He's written letters. Thank you for using GTL. And we've talked over the phone. What you're watching now comes from parts of a recorded interview. Turner is on a prison phone at Turney where calls can only last about 30 minutes. For years after his indictment, we tried speaking with Turner through his relatives and attorney. This time, he reached out to us. You contacted us saying you wanted to speak. We've been trying to speak with you during this whole process. Why did you contact us and what do you hope that this will accomplish? I contacted you all because I just wanted to tell my side of the story. A story Turner says he couldn't share before and one he claims could prove his innocence. I wanted to really put out there what really all happened, what really uh, happened and to and for the people who was left out of this that could have set me free. On March 21st, 2022, Turner sat quietly as a jury convicted him on all counts. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of first degree murder as charged in count one of the indictment. First degree murder, conspiracy to commit first degree murder, and attempted first degree murder. Why do you think you were found guilty? I found guilty because emotional, not because of the evidence that they had against me. It was basically an emo emotional uh, conviction because. Uh, everybody was tied to Lorenzo, and everybody loved Lorenzo. That evidence included testimony from a Memphis police officer who broke the case, cell phone records showing hundreds of calls between Billy and Shara before and after Lorenzo's death, plus Turner's cell location data the night of the murder. 14 minutes after midnight on July 19th. Which is two minutes after the homicide. Two minutes after the 911 call. If you weren't involved and there were these other people uh, and information that you believe could have cleared your name, how did you get caught up in all of this in the first place? I got caught up because I did work for Cheryl. I did work for her and in, in the process of doing work, I didn't really know Jim. Jimmy Martin, the prosecution's star witness. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony that you will give in this case be the truth, the whole truth, and not to let the truth say of you, God? Yes, Martin is Cheryl's cousin and a convicted killer. The state named him an unindicted co-conspirator. They said he led police to the murder weapon. This is a gun that killed Lorenzo Wright. Right where Jim said it was in 2012. Was that your gun? No, that wasn't my gun. If you know that the gun didn't come back to anybody. On the stand in his prison issued clothing, Martin described the plot to kill Lorenzen and said who pulled the trigger. Did she say whether or not she had a gun? Yes, sir. Did she say whether or not Billy had a gun? Yes, sir. She said both of them had a gun. Did she say whether or not both of them fired? She said both of them fired. I want to be crystal clear about this. Did you shoot? or kill Lorenz and Wright? No, I did not. I never was there. I never was there. Were you in the woods with Shara that night? No, no, I was nowhere near. Shara was sentenced to 30 years after taking a plea before Turner stood trial, something he too had the chance to do. You told us that they offered you a plea 
Why did you go to trial and not take that plea? Because I felt like I, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything criminal. So I wasn't taking any plea for something I did not do. I, I, I know that I'm, I'm innocent of this. So a jury of your peers got it wrong? Yes. Yes. Most definitely. Yes. They didn't take time out. They didn't take time out to deliberate over my situation. They even ate lunch during the deliberation over my over my decision over a man's life. You talked about how quick they came back. That surprised some people. They went out and started deliberating about 1.30. Before 4 o'clock, they were back. In addition to his life sentence for murder, Turter is serving 41 years for the two additional counts and an unrelated gun plea. At 52 years old, he's now living in the place he's likely to die. What keeps you going and keep fighting for this? My life, uh, because uh, my life was taken from me because uh, of the jury that, you know, that they really don't know. Now, later this week, you'll get to hear what Billy says the jury didn't. But first, tomorrow at 10, more of our exclusive with Billy Ray Turner. He wants to set the record straight about whether he was indeed Shara's lover. I'm April Thompson. And I'm Zanetta Lowe, WREG News Channel 3.